It was January 8th, 2014. Um, I was 20 weeks pregnant. I just went to work like normal, and she went to the doctor by herself that day. The doctor looked at me, he said, I need you to call your husband. Um, and he told me that something was wrong with Aiden's heart. He said, I think it is something that they call HLHS. Told us a little bit about hypoplastic left heart syndrome, what we were facing. Being that, they didn't see it very often. We left there thinking that our son was gonna die. My wife did a lot of research. We had regional centers in Dallas and Houston and uh, Little Rock. And then there also, you know, Boston was a contender. We saw what other hospitals were like, and we were like, why would we go anywhere other than Texas Children? From the moment we've been here, we felt taken care of. Dr. Ayers, who is now our son's cardiologist, she laid out everything and told us what we were facing again, but just more concrete terms. Basically, Aiden, with hypoplastic left heart, has just half a heart. Um, his left side of the heart is small. It didn't really develop. So they're having to basically replumb his body to compensate for the lack of the other side of the heart. We just felt like when we walked out of that day that he was going to live. My birth experience here was so incredible. It seemed like there were 25 doctors in there. You know, as soon as we had Aiden, you know, we got to love him and do like you do on a normal baby. And uh, they put him in an incubator, carried him out. He had his first surgery at four days old. The first surgery, the Norwood, was just to keep him alive. It was rough. The updates that we got were not good. For the first couple of times, he was really sick. We got our last update that, you know, he had done well, he had pulled through, he was fine. And you know, with the Norwood, it's not over just with surgery. There's a huge recovery period. Between the first and the second surgery, it is grueling, it's scary, it's you're keeping your child alive. Their home monitoring system here is amazing. I mean, I, for centers that don't have it and friends that I talk to without this resource, um, I don't know how they do it. There's a system and there's a science to it and there's a reason for all of it. There's a reason they need to know if he gained weight that day or if he um, isn't having a wet diaper or, you know, isn't taking in enough feed. I called a lot, just, is this okay? You know, just for reassurance. We had a card called the Ace of Hearts card that we could show up in the ER if, if we ever needed to and we would be immediately taken back and taken care of. We were lucky enough to be able to stay in a Houston apartment for about two and a half months before his second surgery. The Glen, they say that post Glen is just nothing. As soon as we could get out of the apartment, we moved back to Shreveport. We come every six months for checkups, and thank God there's nothing wrong every time we come. He's just doing great. You would never know by looking at him that there is anything going on. Everybody just can't believe how much energy he's got. I mean, I thought, you know, as a dad that I wouldn't get to play with him. I thought he'd be, oh, he's gonna be sick all the time. And sometimes you look at him and go, was I dreaming? Because you look at him and don't think anything's wrong with him. When you come back and people still know your name and they know Aiden, you feel like they love him. They care for Aiden, but they also care for us. I mean, they're family. They kept my baby alive, you know? It's just, uh, it's, a, it's a big deal what they've done for us and what they continue to do for us and what they will always do for us. We love Texas Children really and truly. Really.